Good morning everybody, it's Heather, the Butterfly Effect, plant-based weight loss, and today is a Wednesday, and that makes it weigh-in Wednesday, and that's the day that I make a video and check in with you and tell you how my weight is doing and how everything else is doing in my life. And today, I am coming to you from the parking lot of my gym because I'm just about to go inside and work out with weights. And I wanted to tell you about it. So I made a commitment at the beginning of June that I would wait, that I would work out with weights every weekday and that I would get 20 workouts in, in, in June. And I've kept um, it all except one day. I had one day where it just, I had to either choose to be late to my job or work out and I chose to be on time for my job. But every other um, time I have gone and I have kept that commitment to myself and um, it makes me really happy. I, I, I'm already seeing like some um, muscles and especially like in my arms and stuff like that and so you know, it's really efficient. It only takes like a half an hour for me to, to get my uh, workout with weights in. And so what I do is I go for my walk with my furry personal trainer, Hope. And then after my walk, I just go to the gym on the way to work right before I catch the train. And there you go. Um, and my gym is uh, one that is only $10 a month. That's a crazy, you know, and even has classes. I belong to Crunch, um, gym. I know they have those all over the country, but it has classes so I could take Zumba and things like that. Right now I've just been doing the weights because in the past I did Zumba and I really hurt my knee and it set me back for a while. So um, I might look at the classes later on down the line. But anyway, um, it's really good to work out with weights, especially as you get older. We lose a little muscle mass every year and so working out with weights can help you retain your muscle mass and also muscles burn more calories than fat does and they look better too, right? The, um, you don't get bulky if you're a woman, if you're worried about, oh, I don't want to look like one of those bodybuilding muscle women. Don't worry about that because those ladies work really hard to get those. If you're just a casual half an hour a day weightlifter that's never going to happen but what is going to happen is lifting heavy weights stimulates your bones and helps keep you from getting um, osteoporosis and um, osteoporosis is not caused by not having milk or not ha even by not getting enough calcium in your diet I get tons of calcium because I eat a lot of leafy greens and I eat a lot of vegetables um, and all those things have a lot of calcium in them and then I eat a lot of things that contain vitamin C, so I'm absorbing the calcium. So anyway, um, what you need to do is weight-bearing exercise. So when you're walking, you're striking your foot against the ground. That is stimulating your muscle, I mean your bones. Your bones are alive. And um, as you strike your, you know, the, as it takes the weight of your body, um, it actually stimulates your bone to keep on repairing itself and building new muscle building new bone I don't know why I want to say muscle today but um, maybe because I'm about to go work out but anyway also lifting weights does the same thing um, because when you're walking or you're running or you're jumping or you're doing any kinds of exercise that is impacting the long bones in your legs which are really important bones because they're so big but you also want to get your bones and your back and your um, arms and your shoulders and all your bones. And so weightlifting can help with that. Um, so that we stay healthy and strong as we get older. And also, you guys know I have quite a bit of loose skin. You can't take off this much weight at my age, I don't think, without having some loose skin. At least that's been my experience. And so building up the muscles with the weights is helping me to fill in some of the um, you know loose skin make it look a little bit better and it's making me feel better anyway and it's making me wear a smaller size I'm so excited last week I told you I bought some cardigans that were a medium and I thought 
well maybe that was a fluke so then today yesterday i tried on a jean jacket and it was a medium too and it was like a jean jacket and it fit just perfect and i was super happy um because i've never been a medium i've never been a medium and then i was trying on jeans at the same place and um it was they were uh i tr i was like i have no idea what size i wear the last time i tried on jeans it was a 16 so i'll i'll take a 16 in there and what the heck i'll take a 14 in just you know because it was a while ago and i've taken off more weight since then so i took both of those into the um fitting room and the 16 was just way too big and then the 14 was still too big and i went no way could i possibly be a 12 I couldn't even believe it. I couldn't even believe the concept. So I'm like, I'm probably wasting my time. Went and grabbed the 12. They happened to have it in the style I wanted. I, I need short. I am short. And so I tried it on and the darn thing fit. And so that was like a huge moment of celebration right there in the dressing room. I, I still don't quite believe it. Cause I, the last time I wore 12, I probably was 12. I'm not even exaggerating. I've been heavy my whole life and um, yeah, I, I don't even, I have no memory of wearing a 12. So um, it feels great. It feels like all this hard work is paying off. You probably want to hear, since this is weigh-in Wednesday, you probably want me to, to weigh in and, and tell you what uh, how much I weighed this week. So last week, I weighed in and I was 161 pounds and this week I weighed in and I was 160 pounds so I only took off one pound this week but um, it's that doesn't upset me at all for one thing I took off a lot last week um, and as long as the scales going down I really do mean it as long as the scales going down I'm happy I'm satisfied with my progress um, and I know that some weeks I'll take off more and some weeks I'll take off fewer pounds and that is okay with me. I, um, I just think about the saying that my mom used to say, it's like, if you know you have clean hands, you don't worry about being caught red handed. And so I know that my eating was perfect. I didn't have any trouble this week. Um, and you know, there traditionally this is the week that I have hormonal fluctuation and and put on a little weight so I'm not worried about it I know it'll go um I've been working out I've been walking I've been eating correctly and so I don't worry about the, what the scale says don't let the scale determine how you feel about yourself you know the scale can mess you up I really want you to be careful with the scale because sometimes people take off a lot of weight and they celebrate and they think I can have a treat because I had such a good you know loss on the scale this week it went down a lot other times people are like stupid scale it I know I did good and it didn't show me that I did good and you know I what I only lost a pound this week or I didn't lose any weight this week what's the point I might as well go back and eating to eating my you know food that I have gotten away from because it wasn't for my highest good so don't let the scale do either of those things to you remember that the scale is just a tool and it's just one measure so how about you measure by did I eat all my vegetables today how about you measure by did I get enough rest did I meditate did I feed my mind and watch something that was motivating or inspiring? Um, did I share my story and help someone else and, and support someone else in their journey? All of these things are much better things to measure. Um, am I a kind person? Am I a loving person? Am I, you know, all of these things are so much more important than what we look like or what the scale says. Um, and I know that's a funny thing to be saying on a weigh in Wednesday, right? When I'm, when I'm talking to you about my weight. But let's talk about um, monthly results too, because I had a good month. Um, at the beginning, uh, the last weigh in in May, I was at 184 pounds. 
and today I'm at 160 so that means I took off 14 pounds in the month of June so I'm happy about that I only have 24 pounds to go to reach my initial goal which would be um, 136 would be exactly 300 pounds off so I have released 276 pounds I'm super stoked about that um, and I have uh, taken off 84 pounds since the beginning of this year and as you guys know I was struggling the end of last year so um, I almost like lost a year because I took off a lot of weight last year but then I put a lot back on and so it was kind of a lost year for me is the way I think about it um, so I'm happy 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 that I'm making progress this year I feel like I'm just exactly where I need to be and um, I hope that you guys are where you need to be and I'm gonna go ahead and go and get my workout in so I can check it off and you know every time you keep your word to yourself I say I'm gonna work out and then I go work out I say I'm gonna walk and then I walk I say I'm gonna eat my vegetables and then I actually eat the vegetables I don't let them rot in the fridge right um, you're building integrity you're building credit with yourself you're making yourself be able to trust yourself because so many of us said okay today's the day I'm gonna do great on my plan and then we by the end of the day we're tempted and we eat something that we shouldn't and every time you do that you cash in a little bit of your credibility with yourself and um, so this is how I'm building it back up I can trust me again and it feels great it feels really great I hope you guys are having an awesome week um, let me know in the comments if you work out if you walk do you lift weights what are you doing for your bone health and um, I will oh really quick I just remembered I have a friend who actually had osteopenia and um, which is a bone disease where your bones are very weak and it was hereditary and so um, she started running and walking and she has actually had huge improvement um, with her osteopenia so you can definitely reverse um, bone problems by walking and running and doing all those kinds of things so if you have a success story please share it in the comments below and I will see you later this week for more uh, inspiration and just what's going on with me. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.